Okay, global warming has been in the news lately because of the devastating Colorado wildfires, the major, major heat in the Kentucky, Ohio, Virginia, D.C. area, the land hurricane that went through that area. Temperatures from D.C. to Chicago, from Nashville to Atlanta have been well into the triple digits, over 100 degrees. There's an article over here on the Drudge Report that says, this summer is what global warming looks like. So we click over there and it says, if you want a glimpse of some of the worst global warming, scientists, who are these scientists, suggest taking a look at U.S. weather in recent weeks. So it's in the news, we're hearing all about it, but why didn't we hear about how cold it was in Europe or North America this past winter? There were a couple of reports, but nothing to the extent of this. Look at the frozen ice in Lake, on Lake Geneva. We've got a car frozen in ice right along the shores of Lake Geneva. This guy's not going anywhere for a while. He's frozen solid in there. More ice, a wall of ice on a seawall in the, in the Black Sea, a fountain or something frozen. Here's a seawall, a harbor or something right here, and also in the Black Sea area, frozen solid winter. Okay, we're here and looking at in Romania. Here's a snowplow that's nearly buried. Here is 15 foot high snowdrifts that people in Romania are digging out from. We didn't hear about that. Here's winter deaths reveal drastic policy failure. More than 600 people have died so far during the cold snap. This was, that was this past winter, 80 deaths in Poland, 130 deaths in the Ukraine, hundreds of deaths in Europe and some in Germany. We didn't hear about that on the mainstream media. Okay, we're gonna go to North America, bitter, bitter cold, records broken in Alaska. We almost had a record of 80 degrees below zero that was set in 1971, that was almost beat, and that record was for the entire United States, not just Alaska, but the battery in the weather station died just at the last minute, so we couldn't get the full feeling of how cold that was. So let's go to Hot Spring, uh, Circle Hot Springs, Alaska, Sunday, the 29th of January, 2012. The high temperature was 49 degrees below zero. The low temperature was 58 degrees below zero. Did we hear about that on the mainstream media? Did we hear about that from Brian Williams? Did we hear about that from Diane Sawyer? No, we didn't. All we hear about now is this U.S. summer is what global warming looks like. Well, what did last this past winter look like? It looked like a frozen mess. Just one more example of how we're lied to constantly by the mainstream media.